Hello everybody and welcome back to The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. My name is Lady Onassi and we're trying to find some ammo. Um, we got that slingshot. We're trying to break the bottle um, that the constable has so that he has to leave. Aha, uh -huh. little stones. Perfect ammunition for the slingshot. Exactly. All right. Now that we got our ammunition, um, I had to look up how to get the ammunition. But that's the only thing I've looked up in this game, um, is how to get the uh, ammunition. Because I was just looking and looking and looking last time, and I just could not find it. So um, I did go ahead and look up where to get the ammunition for the slingshots. I wanted to use one of those like pucks, um, the shuffleboard pucks, uh, right where we left him. All right, so we're gonna use... Little stones make perfect ammunition for the slingshot. Now I just need a suitable target. All right. Yep, stand back, buddy. All right. Ow! 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 <laughs> Ow! Ah. Hey, Zelda, what in blazes was that? What? Something hit me! You mean someone shot at you? Yes, well, no, I, mean, I don't know. Didn't you notice anything? I was riveted by the fantastic fantastic view. We Swiss aren't used to seeing the horizon like this. And my bottle's broken too. That oh, sucks. I don't believe this. Could you, uh, could you bring me something to drink? Those salmon eggs were pretty salty. I'm I sorry. Bet they were. I have to proceed with my investigations. Goodbye. Let's see how long he can resist his thirst. <laughs> Not very long, apparently. Not long at all. That's what I just said! You just vaporized right there. Okay. Now it's time to actually question somebody who's freaking important. Hello. Nervous? I would be too in your position. Who are you? My name is Adil, and you are... Constable Zelna, why did you sneak onto the ship, Adil? I wanted to go back home. You're Egyptian? There's no work for me in Italy. I want to see my family again. And since you don't have money, you stole away. That's sad. So what if I did? It's hard for me to believe a single word of your story. Because I'm a foreigner? Because you seem to have learned our language in the space of a day. Accent free. Oh, Believe what you want. Did you knock me out? So, it was you who knocked me out. Me? <laughs> Never. No? Where were you when I was attacked? Well, I couldn't take anything with me on this trip, so I uh, snuck into the kitchen and took some canned goods. Interesting. And how do you know when I was attacked? Well, I, I thought it was yesterday, shortly before we set sail. I take this bump personally. Ooh Who paid you to distract us? What? You went for a walk around the deck and let yourself be seen. Everyone goes off hunting you, and in the meantime, your partner shoots the Baroness in peace. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't want to distract anyone. I, I just want to go home. Let's talk about the murder. I did. What were you searching for on deck last night? I was hiding the whole evening. I wanted to go out and get some fresh air, see the stars. But then suddenly, they were looking for me. Were you in one of the cabins? No. Did you see anyone on the deck or on the roof? No. And after we arrested you? The English policeman put me in this cell. Then he left. 
I've been here ever since. And you didn't notice anything along the way? No, nothing. What about the gunshot? Didn't you hear it? Uh, yes. The English policeman had already arrested me. We heard a bang and looked around. And then? Then, the Bobby was in a hurry to get rid of me. He almost pushed me down the stairs and locked me in here. He left, and, and then a short time later, the alarm went off. Hmm. Constable Oliver wasn't with you anymore when the alarm went off? No. I was scared that the ship would sink with me sitting here like a rat in a trap. You're a liar. And a bad one at that. But, sir, I'm telling the truth. And I'm the Raven. Inspector Legrand will deal with you. He's lying like a cheap rug. But he probably doesn't know anything about the murder. Very disappointing. So I have to keep searching. What interests me most is the shot that was fired here in the cargo hold last night. The cargo hold also seems to serve as a changing room for the crew. At least for the ones who don't wear white uniforms. A stroke of luck. The lock is open. Well, open it up. Let's see if we can't find anything. Hmm. Oil-stained overalls. And here, an old toolbox. Useful. It's been through a lot. Hardly any paint. You dental, should see my toolbox. And the lid is held shut by a wire. I'll take it with me. The whole box? Hmm. Some wrenches, a bit of wire wool, an oily cloth, and here, a screwdriver. A screwdriver. Not the tasty kind. I've got the screwdriver. That's all I need. Did you take that wire? Oh, we did. Sweet. Alright. Examine the Arab. Are Egyptians Arab? I thought they were African. Because Egypt is in Africa. Somebody put the trunk back on the shelf. I can't tell whether it was our young friend or someone else. It must be uncomfortable traveling like that, even if you're as young and slim as our guest in the cell over there. How do you not suffocate? I, I would suffocate. I could take one of the sores with me as a souvenir. On the other hand, it'd remind me of my bump and of my rather inelegant escape. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking for everything at this point. Mm, okay. This one on. I just want to make sure I get everything. The young man is lying like a cheap rug. De All right, well, let's go back upstairs. I think I have everything down here, so I think I'm good. Maybe I won't get another chance to look around the cargo hold. I must try to find out. He can't have anything to do with the... When we heard the shot, he was in the custody of Constable Oliver, and I hardly think the two... He could be responsible for the bump on the back of my head, and maybe he owes... But he's not. What a pity. I expected more from this interrogation. Lagrand can try his luck with him. the bullet holes, that's right. Whoever fired the shot hit the crate. Did the shooter just want to intimidate me? Or maybe he needed the bullet? Can't see anything. If the bullet is still stuck in the wood, it's too deep to reach with my fingers. Start the screwdriver. Well, I think the bullet is still in the wood.
I'm not a weapons specialist, but at first sight, I'd say that this bullet looks exactly the same as the one Dr. Gebhardt gave me for Legrand. That hmm. would mean that the murderer also fired a shot here in the cargo hold before the murder. But why? Did they just want to make sure the old guns still worked? Or was it something else? And did the bullet really come from the same gun? I can only check that in the Grand's cabin. Alright, I think that's everything down here now. Let's go upstairs. Well, we got some wire, so maybe we can go to Legrand's cabin. Actually, get some. some. Hi! That takes the biscuit! I noticed that the door was unguarded. I just wanted to make sure that everything was alright. Tell it to Legrand. He's expressly forbidden anyone to speak to the witness before he does. Oopsie doopsie. All right. Let's go to Legrand and tell him what happened. You fell asleep and then you left the door unguarded. <laughs> well, are we going? Mm? Mm. Uh, no, but don't try it again. Of course not. I would never. I would never do something like that. Little old me. Alright. Must be honest, there ain't nothing little about me. Alright. To Legrand's cabin. I got shit, I gotta get fun. Alright. Look at him waddle along. to go Ooh, this is still the good. lock isn't especially secure I should be able to open it with the wire from the cargo hold oh, Zeller so proud of you you sexy bald Swissman okay how do we Okay. Can you move it up or down? Okay, I can move it like that. How? Oh, okay. Mm, wiggly wobbly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can't fix this. Okay. Okay. Okay, right there. I have no clue. Okay, 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 okay. So, I'm gonna move this one up, and this one down, and this one up. Okay. And then one there. Okay. One there. There. And one there. Okay. Okay. I need Okay, I think I need to eat one there. Right? Oh man. Okay. How do I work this?
Are they supposed to go like in between it maybe? Rather than through the bottom? I don't know how this is supposed to work. Oh, maybe they just need to go higher? Okay, 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 I think I get it, I think I get it, okay. I'll just move all this back to where it was. You just gotta get the pin. You just gotta get the pins higher, I think. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's get the first one. Nope. Okay. Too far. Okay. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, that one's actually pretty good. That one I can actually maybe bend a little bit taller. A little bit taller at that one. Okay, that one needs to be... Okay. This one needs to be a little taller. Okay, now let's try. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one. There. Okay, now I'll try it. There we go. They're so close. Okay. Let's move this one just a little bit. Okay. Now let's try. Oh, it's not too far back. Okay, it needs to go forward just a little bit. So we'll go there and then all the way up. Okay. Okay. The next one's there, okay. Right there. <laughs> okay. There. <laughs> nope, that last one's a little too far back, so we'll move it forward just a little bit. <laughs> okay. And one there, maybe? <laughs> nope, too far back. Okay, we'll move it up just a little bit. Do -do -do -do. Right. And we have one more. I think it's right there. Come on. Okay, that one. Okay, so the second to last one needs to go up a little more. So we're going to move there. Now let's try. Nope, now it's too far forward.
Okay, so this one, this one here needs to be... keys you'd want to push everything up or maybe not maybe you just oh okay I'm a stupid idiot okay so that one needs to come down just a little bit so it needs to come down a little bit, okay. Nope, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, this. Okay, the second one needs to come down just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Third one needs to come down a lot. Okay. This one can come down. Okay. Still too high. Okay. Mm. Uh, still a little bit more. Wow. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you. Okay. Next one. This one's gonna come down all the way. Okay. So that one still needs to come down a little bit more. So we're gonna get that down. Okay. Still a little bit more. Okay. And then. Yes, a little bit too much. Okay. All right, and then one more. Got it. There we go. Bazinga. Only took me a few minutes, but we got it. Okay. In we go. Okay. Bathroom first. That's the first thing we're doing. Hmm. Smells like chemicals. Legrand probably developed the photos in here. There are still fragments of the syringe that the inspector broke in the sink. Why is he pushing himself like this? Even if he catches the raven, is it worth ruining his career and his health? Go oh, in there, bro. Oh, in the bathroom. He dropped something in there. I know he did. A microscope. Looks like the one that Lutz Reichinger uses in his pharmacy. Just more modern. Okay. All right. Need the second bullet for a comparison. Legrand must have taken and developed the photos himself. He even made copies and enlargements. He seems to be prepared for everything, with access to more resources than a normal detective.
neatly folded and unused. Legrand hasn't slept since we cast off, nor on the train. He's starting to lose it. A lock master and son. Tough to crack. If I wanted to steal the eye, I'd concentrate on getting the three keys. If everything goes according to plan, the first time this monster is opened will be in the museum in Cairo. Fingers crossed. Want some mixing the friends Xbox? There's maybe the other bullets in there? Maybe? A masterpiece. Forensic teams use kits like these, deplacing increasing importance on the preservation of evidence. But not in Switzerland yet. It's a small lab used to conduct simple analysis on site. All right, what have we got here? Hmm. Half of the tools in this box will be interesting for an archaeologist as well. Actually, forensics and archaeology are really quite similar to each other. The goal is to find out what happened, whether a few hours ago or a few centuries ago. Aha! This is some kind of inventory list. For each chemical, it lists the chemical composition and a short comment on how to use it. Hmm. And here's a list of the most important procedures. Fingerprints, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, gunshot residue, blood. I don't have to analyze the pillow and feathers to determine whether there's gunshot residue. I can smell it. And I don't have any other clues at the moment. You have this, mom. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let's, let's close the door. Fingerprints are overrated. Smart thieves wear gloves, or they make sure that there are too many fingerprints at the crime scene to check them all. I'm sure Legrand could work magic in this alchemist's lab. Me, I'm just awestruck. For forensics in the woods or the open country, I suppose. No mm. use on a ship. Okay. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Key is good. Good Lord. Ah, uh, scissors, precious magnifying glass. Okay. Okay. Let's check the desk. This is the pipe from the cargo hold. Legrand seems to have inspected it for fingerprints. I can still make out the powder. Okay. Aha. That's the bullet the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Legrand's file on the raven. Centimeters thick, but totally useless. We're not dealing with the raven. Why can't he see that? Because he hasn't slept is in like three a bomber days. And quite probably a murderer. This file belongs in a museum. It's history. The inspector should concentrate on the present. Hmm. There's nothing written on the bottle. I suppose it's some sort of stimulant, legal or not. Legrand has been awake for at least 30 hours straight, maybe more. Legrand's been doing math, dude. Um... Wine. All right. Okay. Now that we have the second bullet, let's go ahead and examine that puppy. All right. Mm -mm. All right, let's take a look. Mm-hmm. 
That's the proof. Whoever shot the Baroness also fired the shot in the cargo hold. What could that mean? I have no clue. Are we just spinning around in circles now? What? I don't know what just happened. I didn't even touch him. Let's look at the photos. Legrand must have taken them yesterday Jeez. at the crime scene. Shot in her sleep. She didn't feel a thing. She went to sleep and never woke up. That's how I want to go. Well, not like, I don't want to be shot, but like I want to like fall asleep and just not wake up. This photo provides an overview of the crime scene. A rough diagram of the ship. Legrand marked the Baroness's cabin. Seems like he didn't turn mm. up anything else of note. Yes, that's how we found her yesterday. I think. I wasn't really myself at the time. Hmm. Yes. The bed, the blood spot. The spot on the sheet is much bigger than the one on the mattress. There's blood on the blanket as well. A lot of blood, I'd say. The blanket and the sheet are gone. I get... Hmm. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point, but there's no way to determine when. I want to take a sample of the blood. All right. What? I want a blood sample. The booklet would be useful once I... Okay, but how do I get... A small glass... A sp... What's this? Oh, how practical. A hermetically sealed cotton swab for collecting samples. Blood. I'll take it. Y yeah, you will. All right. Get the hell out of here. Time to leave. Come on, let's go. All right, we're off to go ahead and, um... Okay, um, we're off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that blood sample, but I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, we're at about a half an hour right now. Um, and I want to make sure to have enough for no other um, episodes. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is Lady O'Massey, and have a fabulous rest of your night. Bye, guys.